Well, friends, today is October 8, 2021. One of the things I like about the Apostle Paul is that he could do lofty theology. And so in many of his letters, some of the deepest, most complex, uh, intricate, interesting theology is there. And it's profound and it's la la you know, t stood the test of time. It's, it's, been, it's been significant in shaping the identity of the church for millennium. But Paul could also do practical advice. And we have an interesting piece of practical advice in 1 Corinthians 12, 22 to 25. After this theology of the body, the, the church being like a body, we get this very practical way of living this out. On the contrary, he says, the members of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Those members of the body that we think less honorable, we should clothe with greater honor. And our less respectable members should be treated with greater respect. Our more respectable members don't need this, but God has so arranged the body, giving the greater honor to the inferior member, that there may be no dissension within the body. A positive way of saying that would be there be deep connection, unbreakable connection, but the members may have the same care for each other. Uh, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a community ethic, and it reminds me of Jesus saying, the last shall be first and the first last. God wants what people in our community who are, I call them on Sunday, unexpected superheroes. They're people who we can learn from and grow uh, in connection to who in the eyes of the world may not seem as significant as others. As Paul says, the weaker are indispensable. Sometimes it's that tremulous, uh, breaking older voice that may share a pearl of wisdom. Sometimes it's a young child that doesn't have a full education and uh, you know a, a long resume of any kind who you're going to learn from and uh, sometimes it's someone whose life hasn't taken a typical shape but who who has dealt with suffering and tragedy or with failure uh, and then been renewed and encouraged in the midst of that by God there are all kinds of people who can speak into our lives as individuals and into the discernment we have as a community that are unexpected and this is one of the interesting uh, callings that we have in the church to honor the lesser member, uh, the lesser uh, part of the body. What this does is it builds in us a certain practice of humility. It pulls out of us this desire we have to separate ourselves into layers, important, less important, more powerful, less powerful, a deeper, shallower, this human tendency to, to diminish people around us in order to elevate ourselves, uh, or in the case of people that are um, more fragile, to diminish themselves in order to elevate others, that whole thing is blown apart by this ethic in which we consciously honor folks uh, who might not be considered the most powerful or significant in our community, and in so doing, we practice a humility that changes who we are, and it blesses those around us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be creative about the way we honor those. It might We might honor someone by listening to them. We might honor someone by asking their opinion about something. We might honor someone by asking them how we can serve them, how we can help them. We might honor someone by thanking them for their contribution, however humble. Lord, give us creativity in the way we honor those in our body in such a way that there will not be dissension, but a great unity. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen.